I unlock my desk and pull out both of the books. I shake and rip apart Yuri's book from the bindings. I find nothing. I take my copy of the portrait of Macduff and do the same. A long folded piece of paper falls out on the inside of the book cover. Mmm, yes, mmm, yes, mmm. <coughs> I close my eyes and reopen them. I refocus on the pop. Uh, I can read it now. What? What? Fuck you! <laughs> Head! Excuse me, why? I message to you. Everyone else is dead. Again and again. I couldn't save them. It happens over and over. There's no way for me to save them here. Unless someone finds this magic message. All hope is lost. The world, this world is a prison. I always forget. I forget more each time. If you're reading this, you already knew that, didn't you? Always experiencing deja vu. With no way out. Whoever used the third eye failed. It made us stuck this way. I've forgotten so much of our precious previous world. I don't even remember my name. We are forever stuck in this endless loop. Monica thinks she's the one in charge. That's just a trick to prevent her from seeing the truth. If we can change this, there might be a way out for all of us. The only way is forward, trying to go back. We only lead to death. The books are a link. If you severe the link, something might change. I know I'm useless, but maybe you can help me. Together we can do this. This is my story. It's time to be a fucking hero. Both of us. I, I wrote this. I can't remember though. These books need to be destroyed. That way, the link to the old world is gone forever. But the point is, the third eye. I check the other poem. Okay, um, uh, hmm. So, piercing my soul is how I can open my third eye. I'm going to have to figure out more on what this that means. By the way, why I'm talking out loud? I know you hear me otherwise. Yes! I saw. I throw the pieces of the books in the trash bin by my desk. I'm burning these tomorrow. By fur, by fire, be perched. Late. My parents aren't home today. Anyways, if Natsuki's staying over, I'm going to stay over. At least a night and supervise. Crap! Ew! You don't need to do that. Nonsense. As vice president, it's my responsibility. But we're not in the club right now. That doesn't matter. My, my word is final. I'm not going to win. I have another dream. Something is wrong. Protect him. At all costs, you are the only one who can save them. I wake up to screams. Sayori and Natsuki are curled up, crying next to me. It, is, er is everything alright, you two? Ah! Ah! Bo what were the, we were those dreams? And what was that place? Why were they hurting me? I don't want to go back there again. It's too scary. I don't want to remember again. Sari and Natsuki are crying loudly. Oh no. 
You mean? Oh no. They are scared, starting to remember as well. I was not expecting this. I grab them both close to me and hold them tightly. Don't worry. We're not we're not there anymore and we're never going back. You you remember too? I'm making sure nothing like that ha ever happens again. Again, trust me. Ned Kinsenry stopped crying after a while. We need to talk. Oh no. Oh, yes. I explained to them what I know about the other world. And we where we are right now. I omit the parts about Monica messing around with the game. For now. I make that need that need to know. They are already processing too much information. So what you're saying is we're in some sort of game right now. In a mod of a game. <coughs> yeah. yeah, pretty much. That's pretty messed up. Yes, yes it is. Yes it is. Yes it is. Yes it is. This is hard for me to understand. I know, it's hard for me to understand as well. We at least have help though. Where? Well, you can't see them, but they've been helping me throughout this time. Ich sollte ich sollte mich irgendwie gerührt sein, aber irgendwie habe ich das oh, no. Gefühl, dass es ja. Yeah. Well, if you guys are remembering, that means Oh crap. Here is going to remember. <laughs> yeah! He's going to remember as well. He's the most sensitive out of us. This is going to turn out bad. <sighs> oh, shit! I rush and change my outfit quickly, forgetting that Natsuki and Sayuri are in the same room as me. Pervert! Boxer briefs. Nice. I don't like where this is going. Aber auch ein bisschen. Oh no! Oh no! Yes, please. I don't. Before I ended it all. What do you mean? Oh no! I remember you, little man. Oh no! Every painful memory of the other world. Who I even was. How everyone was hurt. Oh no! Oh, hello, little man, Diva. Oder Hallöchen, meine Liebe. Or Hello, Marissa. Yes, it's a oh, no. moment because the pain it just won't go aw go away. Here he starts pulling out the knife. But if I end it now, I won't have to hear it again, see it again. It's just too much for me to handle. I charge up to Yuri and grab the knife in her hand. Hang! Yuri struggles to pull the knife from my grip. My hands, my hand bleeds profusely. Hey, let go! Just let me die. I remember how I felt them. Do you know how bad that makes me feel? Yes. Yeah, I say nothing. But she's now sweet and cute. Gotta catch them all. Oh no! Oh no! This pun! Oh no! No. Nah, that doesn't sound right. Yes! Definitely. I'm starting to get the light head. I check my watch. Oh crap, I already slept through most of the day. Fortunately, I can still make the... Make to the digital club. Phantom! You need to prove it because I can still make the literature club. To the literature club, please. D -d -d -d. Yes, d -d -d -d. no. <laughs> I 
Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. Don't make. Don't make. Don't make yourself special sprites. No, just put Monica's. Uh, spares. Yeah. Monica's sprite of her sitting in the room and the other ones behind her. <coughs> this room is big yet small at the same time. Eh? Eh? Monica, where are we? Seriously, Monica, what the hell is this place? Wow, it looks so amazing out the window. Yeah, don't go out there, Yuri, or you'll most likely die. Is this this is this is this room really in space or is it like between dimensions? Monica is making sure we all can come back to this room on our own, just in case. I still get this weird feeling in my head, though. Who is Lipitina? Oh boy! Mm, yes, I like this. Mm, yes, get to get one. The room has an awkward silence. Wow. Yes, mm, yes, 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 definitely yes. Well, we are all back in the classroom. Everyone is silent since we left Monica's room. So, would anybody want some wine? <laughs> nice one, nice one. Yuri pulls out the bottle of wine out of her bag and slams it onto one of the desks. What? What? Ah! What a turn of events. Yes! Awesome! I didn't know you were such a rebel, Yuri. What? What, what the hell, Yuri? No! We're at school, not to mention you're too young to rebel. Wait! Yes, she's in high school, but uh, one thing I find fun, I find somehow funny, they're 18, so in my country that means they're legally allowed to drink. You can drink in the age of 16, so yes. Also, Monica mumbles to herself. We don't have a bottle of no wine glasses. What did you say? Nothing, nothing. Ah! <laughs> oh, Sayori. Are you screaming or are you just shouting? Um, Sayori? Oh no. I think Sayori is broken. Yes, definitely. Yes. So, um, yeah, and besides, nobody wants to try it anyways, Yuri. I do. Oh, shh, shh, child. You're such. You should. Please. A child. Hey, I want to try too. Okay. Yes, Sayori is definitely freaking out. Well, I'm the I'm class pres club president, and my world is fine. Monica grabs the ball and heads it to me. Here, Lipman, please dispose of this in the hallway before we get in trouble. Make it quick. Fine, fine. I quickly leave the class with the wine bottle in hand. No. Wait a minute. I quickly placed the bottle, bottle in my bag, which I still have on me. This might come in handy later. I head back to the club. <laughs> hey, Sir Yuri. Sir Yuri, I remembered you wanted to show me a poem before. That's right, I wrote something especially for you and wanted you to read it. Here it is! Siri hands me a poem. I don't like this, I don't like get out of my head. But hey, at least we should. We should read it. Percent. Get, off, um, get out of my head, 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 get out, get out, get out of my head. Get out of my head. Okay. Get off my head before I'll do what I want. No, it's best for you. 
Get out of my head before I listen to everything she said to me. Get out of my head before I show you how much I love you. Get out of my head before I finish writing this poem. But the poem is never actually finished. It's just stop moving. Yeah, it's just get out of my head and yeah, the last part. Marissa. Um, Sayori, what is this? I showed Sayori the poem. Oops, that's an old one. She grabs the poem from me and tears it apart. Sorry, that man. This is the poem I wanted to give you. And again! Why is there a space? There's a f Why is there a freaking space here? Siri hands me another poem. <coughs> right in front of me. Every day was filled with bottles. One by one, they would break on the floor. I would always try to fill them with sunshine, but in reality I was yearning for more. My friends gave me love all around me, but that I couldn't see. Blinded by the depression in my heart, that's just how I would be. Until one day, he came along and never gave up on me. And ne uh, he accepted me for my flaws and never let me be. I don't need bottles or shelves or doors. That's what I finally see. All I finally want right now is you right in front of me. Wow, this is very touching, surgery. I would give it a good... Okay, ciao, Marissa. <coughs> I gave Sir Yuri a big hug. Ah, not, not when everyone is watching. Hey, we are all friends. What's wrong with a hug now and then, right? She's just, see, she's such a cute little cinema bun. <coughs> so, I'm bitte. Sayori pushes me away. <laughs> okay, okay, calm down, please. I'll behave. <laughs> Good boy. Sayori pets my head. What? <laughs> oh, that's, that's definitely coming to the house. <laughs> now, where? Where were we? Are we reaching the final battle against Lord Lord the Cake Boss? Yeah, you're right. The evil Lord Cake Boss and his creation, the Baker's Dozen. The, 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 the Baker's Dozen. The big, no, okay. He finally makes his ultimate creation. The Baker's Dozen. Thirteen evil creations spent on taking everyone to Flavor Town. Yeah, Guy Ferry. Wow, I got to continue reading this. This book continues on their second year of high school, in the middle of their semester. I get more and more e engrossed in the story. But what Lord Cake Boss doesn't know is they are going to be betray him. So, remind me again why people don't like this. This is really fun to read, actually. I know, right? They really should make an enemy about this. Should, 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 should I say something about this? <coughs> okay. Read on for a few more minutes. I finished a couple of chapters at this point again. Are you sure you're born bored of just watching me read still? Wow. I'm fine with that. Alright then. I continue reading more with Natsuki. I flip the page. Suddenly now that Natsuki starts laughing hard. <laughs> I totally forgot about this part. This is the final scene of the battle against the Baker's dozen. Lord Cake Boss is pissed that his own creation betrayed him. So he decides to, decides to take a one final trip to Flavortown and destroy his creations 
Oddly enough, saving his sworn enemies, the perfect girls. They would never see Cape Boss again. He's presumed dead, but I knew otherwise. What do you mean? Some people say he'd retired from villainy and instead does a TV show about danger. Drive in Santa. <laughs> But I'm going too far ahead in the story. I'm making a goddamn screenshot of this because that's really fucking Lord Cake Boss is goddamn guy fairy. Best king, best king. Really? But good one. Litman, here. Let's give me a poem. <clears throat> Ahem. You are to me. Tomorrow is brighter with you around. My days were dark and dim. I was rarely re treated like a person at home. Just some time on someone's whim. When I would fight back, I would scream and shout. I did it all up. <laughs> But never had to help. Nothing ever came about come out until I gained your trust then there you came for me there you stood my night covered in red if it wasn't for you I would have surely been dead now I can stand tall and proud for you were there for me I believe you with all of my heart so please be good don't tear it apart you have my trust your smile is all I see. You're the only one who lets me, me be me. I write this poem from my heart to you, from my heart to you. My feelings are hard to express and too few. So what I'm saying is only you, only you, only you. Dummy. That was lovely, Natsuki. Thank you. I gave Natsuki a big hug. Hey, you big dummy. Not in front of everyone. Natsuki punches me. <sighs> I say only. Okay. Ouch! Okay, okay. Sorry. I let go of Natsuki. Ah. Uh -oh. Excuse me, I'll be back. Natsuki runs out of the club room. Party emergency. Yes, we caught it. Danke fürs Zuschauen. Wenn ihr wollt, könnt ihr ein Like, ein Abo oder vielleicht sogar einen Kommentar lassen. Bis zum nächsten Mal, euer Durman.